know it's been a while. Um, got a handful of stuff done on the interior the last few months, actually. Um, kind of tying up loose ends, cleaning some stuff up, getting some last minute, like kind of wiring straightened out, done. Um, like I said, most of the stuff's for the interior, actually. I'll just get a video of that real quick. Um, so essentially I made a carbon Kevlar plate for this and then wired up a handful of switches um, a position rotary switch which still uh, I've come to find out I'm all out of blending tables for ECU master block because I would like this to blend boost tables um, still haven't figured out what we're gonna do there yet um, rolling anti lag this I wired the digital dash to an actual button because it is right about a 10 second startup time so I'd like to turn that on first before I crank um, I wired up a digital uh, fuel level gauge and then a couple other little things here so got all that done finally got the ECU mounted in the glove box and uh, wiring is pretty much finished up so but today I'm going to be doing the uh, powerhouse racing oil filter relocation and uh, this is not, they don't have, they have two different options. They have use with the oil filter straight to the block or with the uh, factory GTE oil cooler and that dictates your line length. Um, I however have the GE oil filter pedestal which neither line lengths will work with so I had to uh, send my lines back have them send different ones and uh, it actually it comes with the uh, oil cooler uh, bypass which is nice to have because the one that I have in there is kind of not the proper size uh, but it works so I'm going to switch that out to this one and then it also comes with the uh, oil filter union pipe so um, I'm going to be getting rid of the GE pedestal that's in here swapping over my uh, oil pressure sensor uh, this has three different provisions for eighth inch MPT ports one that will be directly on the block and then you have another one on the oil filter mount that's here and then underneath so I'm just going to be tying the oil filter pressure right in on the block um, and we're going to give it a go it's uh, I already had it mounted like I said and the lines didn't fit so I pretty well know what I'm doing going into this it's not bad at all so we'll get into her all right so my shit's kind of a mess in here but uh I already got this union bolt loosened up. Like I said, I'm using my oil pressure sensor. The end of this union bolt, that's going to be going into the block adapter. Um, so basically, I already got the oil filter off, obviously. And I'm still going to continue to use that purple sandwich plate back there for my turbo feed line. Um, but I'm going to rip this out quick, shuffle this stuff over, and uh, we'll continue. Alright, now that I got the uh, block side of it put on, I got the uh, pressure sensor on the bottom of it there. Um, also one thing to note, there is a plate on the, uh, the inside in here. I forgot to get a video of it before I put it on. Um, but that can be clocked uh, a handful of different ways. So that whenever this is tight, you can have this at a different uh, orientation uh, just to help with your lines. Um, I already did this last time I tried to put it on, so this is already in the correct spot. But you might have to futz with it a couple times um, when you first get it on just to uh, make sure it's in the right orientation. So we'll continue. I'll get on to the uh, underside here and show you. It's pretty easy. It just bolts right to the bottom of the... Uh, upper oil pan and the block all right now I apologize it's kind of a tight squeeze but uh, the bell housing here and the two bolts that you're gonna be 
pulling out to do this are this guy right off the upper pan and then this guy from the upper pan to the bell housing. Um, I can get some damn light under here. Okay. Um, so essentially... This guy is going to sit just like so. And since I am not made of spaghetti and have 10 arms, I'm going to put this on and then we'll come back. All right, got it all in. Um, I will say it would be probably beneficial. Uh, to put the oil lines on the actual oil filter housing that bolts on lower, um, the actual relocation point, just because depending upon your chassis, uh, there's not a whole lot of room in there to tighten up your lines. Um, but yeah, all done. So let's get under here as best I can and show you guys. It's that mouse right in there. And I apologize ahead of time. I still have to do some plumbing work and redo some of these fuel lines and some other crap here. So, this is going awful. Um, but anyway, yeah. Both your lines and then the little filter sits down there. So, easy as that. Other than that, it's been uh, it's been running pretty good. Um, I screwed up and totally put the wrong weight oil in here, and I was having pretty high oil pressure. Um, if anybody watched the rest of the build on this, they know I put a uh, Powerhouse Racing's modified 2JZ GTE oil pump in. And uh, this is a GE block, so there's no oil, oil squirters. And uh, my oil pressure was pretty high. Um, I was sitting right around fully warm, 100 PSI at around 3000 RPM. Uh, fully warm idle is like anywhere between 50 to 60 PSI. So it's a little bit uh, higher than I would have liked, but... Um, Anyway, this, from all the uh, information that they posted, this relocation does help to uh, smooth out your oil pressure. Uh, there's not as many spikes and uh, kind of mellows it out a bit. And uh, overall, I think this is going to help along with getting the right way to oil in. So we shall see what it runs then. One thing to note too, on both the block side and the filter side, the lines, there's a, they have it engraved in there, a specific in and out. Um, that is important. Uh, you don't want to be sending oil the wrong way through the filter. Um, they are marked, like I said. So on the block side, it says out. So you're going to run that line to the in side of the filter housing. And then from the outside of the filler, filter housing to the inside of the block. Um, pretty easy. Like I said, it's uh, it's simple. But uh, don't screw that up. So, as you can see underneath here, that is the new filter position. So, there's, uh, there is some movement with the housing. Um, you have four Allens bolts that uh, you can slide this forward and back and you possibly can't it a little bit if you need to but um, just for the sake of line length and everything else I have mine all the way forward um, but yeah like I said it's pretty simple and another great product from uh, Powerhouse <laughs> 